though. We are though. Rambo. <laughs> that Stop. silly dog. Incredible. Oh. You go, girl. No. Where do you go? Yeah. Nice. nice. I didn't want to stir up the yeah. dirt. That's a big one. Yeah, really. We're getting like all the same size tonight. He's got a little hat. Hurry <laughs> up. You silly cane toad. So, Tara, I know some viewers at home know about the story about cane toads, but for the viewers that don't, can you alliterate a little bit? So, these guys basically were brought over to uh, eat the cane beetles from the they're the agricultural fields. They were thinking that they can release all these toads and they'll eat the bugs and they don't have to use pesticides. Well, the toads ate everything except the bugs and now they reproduce like crazy and they take over and they're poisonous and nothing can eat them. So it's pretty much a disaster. So they brought an invasive species to take out an invasive species, but this uh, species ended up being the dominant species. Yeah, and did not do what they were supposed to do. Wow, wow, talk about an ecological disaster. And right one toad can produce 30,000 eggs. 30k guys yeah. 30k that's absolutely they are, insane and their their eggs and their tadpoles and the little baby frogs are all poisonous sheesh that thing is uh, scary looking man but don't want to confuse these guys we do have a native toad that looks pretty similar but see these guys will not have the ridge the our native toads will have these big ridges on their backs of their uh their head right here got you they kind of look like little horns but these guys have a flat oh another big one look at that one <laughs> Oh. That's a beast. Nice. That's the biggest one of the night. That's a mag daddy. Scooped him up. Scooped him. Was he in the water? Yep. Just chilling. Nice, nice. This pond is looking pretty pretty. Two in the bag. Yeah, let's yeah, get it. Super steep. I love this. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> what? Whoa, is that a frog back there? <laughs> what? Is there a frog back there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some more, huh? Yeah, they were up on the land. That was a little guy. Oh, wow. Right outside was, the in hole. That hole. Got like a critter hole. Trying to make a nest. Right. In the bag. Bag him now. Boop. I'm not in this bag, buddy. Ah, right there. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two. He want a girl. Oh, wow. I got, I got one. This is a big guy. Caitlin Ooh, and Tara with the double the, up. You've been getting the big ones. And the toad whisper. Oh, there's another one right there. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> another oh, another one. Oh, oh, little one. <laughs> no, that was a frog. Oh. Is that it? Oh my gosh. We Dude. found the mother hole. We found it. Nice. Oh. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Did you get it? Of course. Of course. Hey. Y'all got the net. Look, another hole. Yeah. Something's digging out here. I just found it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Right. They're trying to get freaky. Freaky. Freaky toads. Going down here, y'all. They like to be a little bird Got it. Oh, I see one. Yep. You silly, silly toad. Oh, oh, fat one, fat one. Toad girl's on it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Get him, Tara. I think I got him. Oh, no, he's in the, he's right there. All right. I only got one hand. Here, give me. I think I got him. Give me your other. Give me Did I get him? Oh, did I? No! Oh, he's right there. Ah, where? I got the bag. Oh, shoot. I got the bag. He's right here. Somewhere. There was another one. Oh, there he is. Get him, Tara. Get him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoa, he's trying to escape. Got him. Again. Ah, got, got him. Got him. Nice. They don't like to be scooped. Nice. In the bag. Running on hands. Ooh. I just want to fly again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Poor Tara. Boom. Look at that camo at night, though. Yeah. Right there. Right, right here. Oh, he's posted. Can we pet him on the nose? Let's we'll see if he wants to eat my finger. No, he's not interested. Nope. In the bed. Got rejected by a toad. <laughs> toad snatcher. Toad snatcher 8000. <laughs> AKA Caitlin, AKA the Aquamer Girl. Sheesh. That's a cool pattern on the back right there. Yeah, this guy's ugly. Whoa, I see he's Dang. starting to. Yeah, she's all. She's got toes. On him. Toes for days. She's got toes for days. You got. You want to bag them? Yeah. 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 We got the bag. Okay. Coming. <laughs> That's small. Dude. 
fly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk about a beast. One. Nice. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> you gotta add some drama, right? Got to. <coughs> I think he's got like a white pied spot. You see that? Yeah, I see like that. He's got like some spotting on him. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> no, they're all out here. Ugh. They're all out here. You all, you all good, sir? I swallowed that fly. I like, knew it right down the windpipe. It's right down it, huh? And he wiggled all the way down. So as you guys see, we're with, we're with Caitlin. We're with Tara with the Iguana Ninja. <laughs> Caitlin right Caitlin's here. Caitlin's on one. Caitlin's on one. He's just hands on. Oh, whoa, that was, oh. He's working. Feisty. Sheesh. Wouldn't want to be your hands right now. Getting that dang frog juice on me. Get freaky in the frog pond. Super freaky. <laughs> As you guys see, these toads are all over this pond. And if you guys see these toads, do not approach because number one, they're poisonous. Number two, they can pee on you. Number three, they're just pretty disgusting. But if you're hardcore like Caitlin or Tara, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. But for me, I'm a little on the wimpy side. I'm gonna leave it to the girls. You're good, Tara. All right, guys. No parking, fire access only. <laughs> yep. Suck it, nerds. But Tara and the iguana girl <laughs> have access. Don't tell nobody. It's a secret. Where the toads at? Where the toads, where the toads, where the toads at? With the toes, with the toes, with the toes. Oh, I can't even see that one. Hold on. Ah! Oh man, this one's hard. Oh, right. God. Hit the other hard. Yeah, Ted. Oh, again! <laughs> Leave it to the iguana ninja. <laughs> Get in there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now it's another one. <laughs> oh, he's got the paws run. Get him. Get him. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> awesome! Teamwork makes yeah. the dream work. Stick your line, I think I threw mine down. Stick Probably. Tara and the iguana girl. Caitlin, putting in some work. Caitlin, you have your light? Okay. Oh, putting the these light. toads and in the, the toad. That was like the hardest. She's going in there though. I'm going I'll get in there. I want a big one. <laughs> <laughs> you goofballs. Go ahead. Don't get a baby one now. Get the biggest one. Get a, get a fatty. Get a pretty Watch. one. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Let me see that pattern on the back. Look in there. Wow, look at that. That's right. Sheesh, that's pretty wild, man. He's got, you know, I can do iguanas, I can do snakes. I just can't do totes, but you know, hats off to you guys right here. You guys are the real MVPs of tonight. Oh. Putting in work, getting the totes. We got at least uh, 20 specimens tonight. Elite. Huge shout out to everybody that came out here. Caitlin, uh, uh, Tara, we got Ninja, you guys at home for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the toad removal. We're gonna go ahead and put these guys in the bag and we will see you guys on, oh. Whoa. They bite. We're gonna see you guys on the next job. Peace. Whoa, whoa. Little Miss Tara right here. Sorry, she actually guys. been catching some critters and um, I heard you got a little business going on. Tell me a little bit about your yeah. business. You know, I do like the weird and unusual taxidermy. I do with skeleton articulations, wet specimens, traditional taxidermy, like whatever you need. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much the guy that you need. I got a Facebook page. It's Terrace Taxidermy. Uh, you can just look yeah. up on Facebook. Yeah. Me and her are going to be collabing and she's going to be working on something very, very special. All right. Stay tuned. So stay tuned for that and go check our girl out. I got him. I got him. Right here. I have got a contraption. So you remember last time we weren't so successful. I've got me a better gig this time. Metal. I think this is Metal? galvanized steel. Yeah. I drilled a hole through it. Real fancy stuff. Put a bolt through there. Nice. And it's a little wobbly, but we ain't going to worry about that. It'll get the job done. Okay. okay. And, uh, you know, we've been pretty successful already the last couple nice. nights. So uh, we'll see if we can do it again tonight. What? We're going to leave it up to Tara. We're going to see what she can do with the gig. I don't really know too much about it. But... Don't hold me to it. I mean, I'm going to do my best, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we will. All right, guys. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. Let's see what we can catch with the gig. Oh, oh fish right there. Let go right there. Nice. You got that? Oh yeah. Nice. Look at how fat. I bet she's full of eggs. And I got her a bonus rock. Oh, that's nice. exactly how what happened to mine. Yours is bigger. Yeah, that's a big female. That's she's probably about to lay eggs. 
Nice, nice. These are the nice. ones that ruin the uh, canal banks. They dig their nests into the canals and then they collapse. That's what I've heard. That's so, what I've heard. That's good. We got her out before she had her babies and started destroying more habitat. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you guys probably seen some of these in the pet trade and uh, they are wild here in Florida. Uh, Tara, how do they actually get out here? That's really like a lot of people ask me that. So these guys start out, you see them at the fish stores. They're like this tiny little things and they tell you at the fish store, oh, you can keep them in a 10 gallon tank and they'll never outgrow their tank. Right. Oh crap, this is what they turn into. Sheesh. And then people, they, they you can't keep this in a 10 gallon tank. So you, they just, oh, no. they like release them because they think they're living a better life, but really you're ruining right. the ecosystem and exactly. just setting these guys up for a life of well, A lot of trouble. people had them and they had no idea that they would probably get that big or be able to reproduce like that you know yeah, that's why i always shocking. say you always do your research when you're looking into different animals i mean any animal you get even a little tiny betta fish you know you need to do your research before right. you get into anything it's actually illegal and unethical to release invasive species or pets into the any wild animal yep and because you guys not only the animals can't fend for themselves some of them but some of them can and they do it too well and they end up being invasive mm -hmm. all right guys you guys make sure you guys follow those rules and then everything will be good let's go ahead and put this guy in the back all right, there could be a big snakehead, too. Ready, ready. I want to see you get a snakehead, sir. Yeah, that big one, I could not believe I got that big one. He was Was he freaking massive. out? He looked a lot bigger in the water, too. They always do. <laughs> he be chilling on him. Oh, right there. Got him. Got him. Got him, my girl. Look my that. girl. Yes. That's a nice one. Perfect placement too. Terry. A, look at those spots. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, this is a really Look at how specimen. pretty. Dang. Whoa. Usually they have just the bullseye, but yeah. look at those spots. Yeah, what do those spots mean? What? That's just an alpha. Yeah. Wow. They might be fired up for breeding. Yeah. It, it, remember what we were saying? Springtime is here. It's been cold for Florida standards, but... Lately, it has been warm, and these animals are out. Incredible. <laughs> she thinks that's pretty rad. Guys, another invasive species in the bag. And here's another interesting thing about snakeheads. They actually come out at night to feed. You'll see them during the day, but they're they're like kind of like snook, guys. They'll be right by the bank, their eyes are open, and they lay really still. And then when little fish go next to them thinking it's a log, guess what? Oh, that jaw is so strong, I can't even get it open. They won't meet the jaws. They got big old teeth though. They can chomp. Dude, and yeah, these things came from Asia. People brought them here. Oh, I guess they escaped because they could walk like snakes and now they're just taking over the, the canals. And a, one of these fish will eat thousands of native fish in its lifetime. Hundreds of bass, thousands of bass. And and it's an invasive species, guys. So we gotta go ahead, put them in the back. I'd like to see that. We're clearing the canal out for you, buddy. Maybe you'll be able to get some better food. That's good, right? Yeah. Well, you were there, remember? Yep. I was talking to Caitlin. They're unbelievable. Oh, I've seen them. Oh, the hundreds of gars out there. What is that? Whoa. Oh, the palm pole. That's like a huge dead fish. Let's let's just walk on the bank real quick, Tur, just to see if we see anything. Big one. I got him! I got him! No! Oh, did he get off? I think I got him. No, he got off. Dude, that was a monster. That was probably a big Wait. Thing. Where? Look around, you should see dirt. Well, I seen a silhouette of him. I don't see like a dirt trail going anywhere. Sheesh, you hit him right when he was on his way out, right? I know, I got him good though. I don't think I was enough to kill him though. Jeez. Tara let him know who the boss was. Just be ready, Tara. Yeah. Be I'm careful down this, this. Yeah, yeah, the, the background is kind of brown, and they kind of like... Yeah. If the snakeheads stick out a little, because they kind of turn brown or gray when they sleep, but the flecos are kind of still dark. There's a cichlid right there. Where? Straight ahead. Is he deep? He's right there. Boom. Where are you at? Look at my light, right here. Oh. oh he cleared it. He cleared it. Cleared Not it. the squeaky boo. Oh, no. <gasps> I'm so excited. Nice. Ugh, got him. Stuck that sucker. 
That was a great shot. Perfect play. placement, too. Jared does not play at all. We ain't here to mess around. Putting food on the table right there. That's yeah. right. Check that out right there. Another invasive mind sick with, with the gig. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Almost went in with him. You got him? Got him. My girl. Perfect placement. <laughs> silly, silly invasive snakehead. He's a little guy. He ain't taking over our state. Look at that one's pretty too. Dang. We got like the honey hole of the pretty ones. Like I only got him with one one hole. Nice. That's awesome. Good catch, yo. Good catch, man. Yeah, guys, you guys see it right here. It's pretty uh, pretty thick. So far, we've encountered uh, several snakeheads, and they are out feeding right now. They're just right by the edge, like I said, pretending to be a log, and then when something comes up to it, they get it. See that thing moving? That's the water here. Oh, that's the current? All right, get the license on. Guys, we legit about to get a driver's license. We're about to find out who it is, and then we're gonna obviously return it, but we are gonna get it real quick. Oh, we're gonna sell it. <laughs> sell it. This is somebody's passport card. What the eh? No way. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and turn that in real quick. But, uh, yep, there he is right there. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Nice. Look at that. Not bad for a little stroll down the, the door open. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Let's get them posted up. Let me, let me see them pretty scales. Lay, lay sideways. Stop. Yeah, no, it's breeding for them snakeheads right now. Yep, they're, they're fired all, up. Trying to get all fattened up. Yep, fired up. Quit, you little sucker. Whoop. Yeah. Just doing some fishing. Okay. Right there. Hey, huge shout out to our homie Tara. And Caitlin for coming out here and they want a ninja <laughs> scratching mosquito bites. Yeah, we got mosquito bites. So Yo, itchy. Whole team effort, as you guys can see, different variety of invasive species from the bullseye snakehead to the aquarium pleco to the Mayan cichlid. Okay, so um, really good stuff. And not to worry, guys, all the fish got on today's video will be harvested for food. Okay, snakeheads are delicious. These are delicious as well, and the cichlids are like freshwater snappers, okay? So, like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. Let me know how our friend Tara did with the gig, okay? All right, Tara, any words you want to say? How, how do you think about the mission tonight, man? I think we did pretty good. I mean, we got a nice spread, different variety. We got some pretty big snakehead. I mean, they get a lot bigger, and we didn't quite get that monster, but we'll be back. We're going to get him, but I'm, I'm happy with this. I mean, we'll call it a night. It's late. We're tired. Yep. Yep, it's only a matter of time before that big one comes back. Oh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll, we'll get him. Back. All right, y'all, we're going to let you guys go. See you guys in the next video. Like, comment, hit the rest, subscribe button. Caitlin. Caitlin, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin. Y'all stay tuned because we got a bunch of stuff we're going to be doing and adventures and animals. Peace.